All right, there we go. Jervis for Mr. October, last game of the night. Let's get this done. Well, what I'm saying, all what I mean, Castle, is that I've I've sampled a few and never really found one that interested me. Um, a lot of it is for me the animation style. I, um, I don't. I've yet to find an anime that I can like. The animation style is almost always super off-putting for me. Standard battle, Tears of the Desert. Ugh. Oh, fair enough, Andrew. Fair enough. I see where you're. I see where you're going. Um, I guess, I guess maybe that's, I mean, that's kind of a weird thing to say, but that's kind of where I'm at, right? Is that I just, I just generally have not found one that I can watch that I can enjoy the style of. I'll tell you the one that I should have watched. Did anybody else watch, um... Hang on. Duke's going to talk for a minute. I don't want to hear it. What was the name of that stinking show that I love so much? Altered Carbon. Did anybody else watch Altered Carbon on Netflix? I hope I'm not the only one who loved that show. I fucking loved Altered Carbon. And the, the first season of Altered Carbon is like some of the best television that I think Netflix has ever done. The second season is weaker, but it's not bad. Um... And they made like they made they came back later and I missed it, but they made like a like a cartoon. There's I think it's on Netflix. They did some kind of like three or four episode like in that universe, some kind of anime car style cartoon of Altered Carbon. I saw commercials for it, but I haven't actually watched it. Is it out? It, it, they released that right. Like I could go pull that up if I wanted. I think. Okay, all right. I haven't checked that out. I, I might have to look at that. I'm going to have to look that up. I should be looking at matchmaking. One, two, three, radar. And what's my detection? Six, three, six, three. And at least two things that outspot me. So not a maze balls. Okay. I, Joel Kinnaman, I, jo watching Joel Kinnaman play to Takeshi Kovac in the first season of Altered Carbon is some of the most fun I have ever ever had watching television i remember watching the first episode of that show sitting in here on my big television you know got my surround sound going everything just watching that show and the last 10 minutes of like the first episode i was laughing my butt off with him and poe in the in the in the hotel lobby and everything i was laughing hysterically my wife was like what are you watching and i was like you have to watch this oh my god it's amazing <laughs> it was so hilarious <laughs> I agree with you there, Lanius. I absolutely agree with you there. And I loved Anthony Mackie. I loved Anthony Mackie in that part. Uh, Storm Stormrider, Airwolf. I will always... Uh, Airwolf for life, baby. Is that Bismarck trying to go mid? That feels inadvisable. Say hello to my little friend. Battle of the Planets. I've never heard of it, actually. Oh, you're talking about uh, Jan Michael Vincent. Yeah, when Jan Michael Vincent, he died last year, I think, right? Wouldn't it just, or no, the year before? He died sometime in the last two years. Oh, Lanius. The Airwolf theme song is epic. Epic, classic 80s, man. At one point, I was working on a World of Warships video that used the Airwolf intro. They use the Airwolf theme song. All right, Shira, you want to play mid? Okay, let's play mid. You and me, pal.
You're gonna die. I <laughs> say, you're gonna die, little Shira. <laughs> that was not smart, sir. Love, Death, and Robots. Animated sci-fi shorts. Okay. You know, another show that I've been meaning to try and get into, and I've never managed it, is uh, Black Mirror. I've heard such good things about Black Mirror that that's one I feel like I should get into. I love the old... When I was in... Um, was it... College? College, I think, was the old... Um, let's get this one out of the tube. Um, when um, Showtime... Showtime was remaking um, the Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone? No, Outer Limits. When Sci-Fi was re when, when Showtime was redoing Outer Limits episode in the '90s, that was a lot of fun. Oh, I have Black Adder. I have the DV. I have the DVD collection of Black Adder. Man, that's good television. That's good television, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, this is bad. Come on, fire at me. Fire at me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Another day, another disembowelment. Fries with that. I really want that New Orleans. Really want that New Orleans. Ah, son of a <laughs> At the moment, ladies, yes, I actually do. All right. Which two, Adeldrell? There are actually three. So you'll have to pick two. I assume you meet Atlantis and SG-1, but don't forget about SGU. I have not watched SGU. I've had people recommend SGU to me. I have never watched it. I'm just gonna dump everything. I'm tired of this guy with playing his little games. Welcome. I was a huge SG One fan um, in college. Still, I mean, I, I still consider it an excellent show. The writing really fell off in the later years. Um, Lord Hor, I'm gonna miss this. Lord, thank you for the follow. Um, please don't shoot me. Thank you. Um, I um. I absolutely adored SG One, right? Like, I I love I would I would see Stargate in the theater in '94, '93, whenever the hell it was, right? I love that movie. I still do. I really enjoy it. It's quite good. Um, oh, we're, I'm well within inside this Baltimore's radar range. That's kind of bad, huh? Oh, good, slap him. Yeah, yeah. Hurt him. Hurt him. So I always enjoyed SG One. In fact, SG One used to air when I was in college. Um, I had my parents tape it on VHS for me, and then when I would come home for the weekend, I would take the tapes back down to the island, to, back to campus. <laughs> this Marco Polo looks like he's getting ballsy. I'm just racking up the spotting damage out here. How can you guys not see the Marco Polo? Did he smoke? Give me a break. There he is. What's this guy doing? He's trying to stop and bow tank again, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, we're going to go explain to him what a bad, bad idea it is. 
Uh, I think we're going to win, Adelaide, but what do I know? What do I know? Did I do that? <laughs> uh. Go away, Riga. God, you're irritating. All these ships dead, and they still have two radar cruisers. Get wrecked. Much better. Falcon 4.0. I did not. I remember hearing about it, but I have never played it. This team is not all that amazing, kids. You know, I cannot understand why those radar cruisers are still alive, right? What has the Musashi been doing, actually? That Kronstadt has taken zero damage. We're t 11 minutes into the game, and the Kronstadt has, is pristine. What is happening? What am I watching exactly? <laughs> Let me go get behind this island. Make the Riga make the Riga cry. Well, he's been humping the border for a while, but what I can't figure out is why these battleships don't move up and crush him. Like I don't know, I guess they I guess they're afraid of the Iowa or they're afraid of the Sims. Sims' torps are nothing to be afraid of. It, I mean Sims torps are honestly legitimately bad. All right, Quinn, hold on. I got to permit you just to ask real quick. Hold on. There you go. Try again, Quinn. Our victory is in sight. We're just going to chill right here till the game's over. Remember, guys, when this game's over, we're doing the giveaway. So don't wait. Don't miss out. Make sure you're entered. Let's see. I got to find somebody to raid while this is kind of wrapping up here. Let's go have a peek. Let's go have a peek. You to do. You to do. Fem is streaming on a weeknight. It's unusual. Bows around. Okay. All right. Well, congratulations. There's the cap and the win. Outstanding. <laughs> Crotchdad paintwork made from the tears of teetotalers. There are no teetotalers in Russia. There, there are no teetotalers in Russia. That is a lie. That is a blatant lie, sir. <laughs> Oh, uh, too funny. Too funny. I don't even like Jervis very much. And that's the result. So there you go. Teetotalers in Russia. You're so cute. 